Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today, it's Monday, March 11th, 2024. Number one, described as both fiery and highly political, President Biden's constitutionally mandated State of the Union address was both a look back at his first three years and a preview of the future, a campaign kickoff along with a presentation of plans for the next year. In his Thursday night address, the president possessed an energy that many critics, Democrats and Republicans alike, previously said was lacking. Mr. Biden went on the attack against Republicans both in that room and watching in Florida, his predecessor and presumed opponent, Donald Trump. Number two, hundreds of women and children are believed to have been kidnapped in Nigeria. The United Nations and local authorities report that an estimated 200 people disappeared from an area terrorized by the extremist group Boko Haram March 1st. Thursday was a separate event, hundreds of miles from the earlier kidnappings. NPR reports the West African nation has been struggling to contain the kidnapping epidemic. For a number of years now, more than 3,600 people have been abducted between July 2022 and June 2023. Number three, life's essential eight are the key measures for improving and maintaining cardiovascular health as defined by the American Heart Association. Better cardiovascular health helps lower the risk for heart disease, stroke, and other major health problems. Life's Essential 8 comprises two major areas, health behaviors and health factors. Read more about it in today's newsletter. Number 4. Twyla Stallworth, a 40-year-old black woman from Andalusia, Alabama, was arrested February 24th after calling out an officer on his blatant racism. Stallworth made multiple calls to police complaining about her neighbor's loud music. When officers failed to follow up on the complaints, Stallworth purposely set off her car alarm to get her neighbor's attention. According to Stallworth's attorneys, Officer Grant Barton threatened to cite and arrest Stallworth for the car alarm, but did nothing to address her multiple complaints about the neighbors. Number five, salvation is the state of being saved. It's deliverance from the consequences of sin. Now, that doesn't mean you won't reap what you sow. That just means that anyone who has repented and made peace with God should not fear death. Some people think that once they become saved, they will no longer experience trials and tribulations, but you will still go through some things. Read about salvation in today's newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. A gentle approach can be inspiring and motivating in leadership. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with social justice contributor Coy Malone and our special guest, former mayor of Atlanta, the Honorable Bill Campbell, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association, and Black Health Matters.